Alex Torres. I'm over at Scripps Mercy in San Diego. Today we're going to be talking about the TCM, how we do it, and how we uh, set it up and everything. Um, this is a six channel unit. There's a light in the front that tells you that you're plugged in to a battery and um, there's a switch in the back. You know, there's, there's a switch in the back to make sure that you keep it on so it keeps the battery charged. The button on the front turns the machine on. So then it'll go to its own calibration. So now while it's turning on, we're going to be remembering one of the uh, electrodes so you can see how it's done. So you need a TCM membrane, some polishing paper, and the electrolyte solution. So first thing that you got to do is to um, wipe this thing down with with a, uh, a towel or some sort. We're going to polish it just by rubbing, rubbing it around. You fold the paper and make a pointy part. and you run that on that inside crevice to polish that part too. Once that's, that's done, you'll take your solution, drop a couple on the electrode, make sure there's no bubbles there's no bubbles. Slowly turn it over, put it on top of the membrane, press straight down, and lift. And that's how it should look like. The, um, the gasket should be sealed all the way around. There's going to be some solution that's kind of left over that's just dry that off. And then you're ready for calibration. Next thing that we're going to do now that we remembering our electrode would be to calibrate it. You have to pay attention to make sure that your cable that you're calibrating corresponds to the channel that you're going to insert it on. Because remember, there's six channels in here. It's not like the old ones where there's only one and then you can, you can just um, go to the same chamber. Now, 
I like to clean the chambers with an alcohol pad just because sometimes we tend to put the um, uh, electrodes back into the chamber after um, we take care of a patient. So we don't want to do that. So just to make sure that that's clean, just clean it with some alcohol and then just dry it with some Q-tips to make sure it's nice and dry. Okay, the electrode goes in there and you lock it in place and then you press the one. It's going to say start calibration on electrode one. Just press it and it's going to calibrate. So you just wait for it to calibrate and then when it's done, you're ready to put it on a patient. There you go. You can see that it's done calibrating and um, now you just have to choose a site where you would put your electrode. Um, usually as far as site, you want to make sure that you're putting it in an area where there's not a lot of hair. It's not on top of a bone. It's not on top of a uh, blood vessel and uh, it's on a meaty part of the body. Okay. So now that our the electrodes calibrated, now we're going to be uh, choosing a site. So like we mentioned earlier, we want to use a site that's not above a vein or, or um, a bone or um, a sore or an open wound or anything like that. You want the skin to be intact and um, you want it to be hairless. So if there's a whole lot of hair, you want to shave it. So that's why one of the things that you need is, is a, a razor you need the uh, mounting ring for the electrode itself, some alcohol pad to kind of clean the site, the skin, to prep the skin, and of course the um, electrolyte, they call it a contact solution. That's what you want to use. Okay, so we're going to use my arm as a um, uh, choice to show you how this thing is done. So first you take your alcohol pad, we're going to find a part where there's not a whole lot of uh, blood vessels, so we're just going to use that. Just clean it up. Dry it. Take the contact ring. Press it there. Run your fingers around it to make sure it's nice and, and sealed. Take your contact solution. Usually I just fill it up just to make sure there's no air inside. You take your um, electrode and just twist it in place. Then you just wipe down the excess fluid so it's not dripping around in the patient. And there you go.